wonderful text for you today. Here it is, Ephesians 3.20 in the New King James Version. Now to him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. I heard someone once trying to imagine what it would have been like when Paul was dictating those words. Paul dictated them to his secretary in the prison where he was. And we can picture him saying, he is able to do all that we ask or think. And then Paul pauses to think. And he says, no, I'll do that again. He is able to do above all that we ask or think. And so the secretary changes it. But the secretary can tell that Paul is still not pleased. Because after a moment he says, no, I want to do that again. He is able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think. And with a sigh, the secretary makes the alteration. But Paul is still not content. And he says to his secretary, sometimes when Christians pray, their vision of God is too small. I want the Ephesians to really get the picture of how wonderful God is. I promise you, this is the last time. He is able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Wonderful words. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, forgive us if we sometimes come to you with such little faith. Forget, forgive us if we forget that you are able to do far more than we dare to ask or think. Thank you for these golden words of Paul's. Help us to remember that you are able to do and want to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think. Help us always to remember that you are a big and powerful and wonderful God and that you love us. Lord, may we live today in the spirit of those words. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Amen. May God bless you. Each.